the right time to talk to your child about gender identity. Do you think kindergarten is too early? Parents are not happy with the Rockland Charter School Academy for having transgender discussions in a kindergarten class. The teacher defended her actions to read two books she says were given to her by a transgender child going through a transition. The kindergartners came home very confused. And many parents say they feel betrayed and blindsided. My daughter went home crying, shaking, so afraid that she could turn into a boy. Times are a changing, aren't okay. they? It's a different world and parents have to be aware of feelings. As I was talking to Dr. Judy about the kids, at a very young age, may be confused about their gender. Interestingly, the research does show that by the age of four, most children do have a pretty firm and consistent sense of, I feel like a boy or I feel like a girl. And what we talk about is this idea of gender nonconformity. So I was born biologically a boy, but really everything else about me, my personality, I feel like a girl. That is very different from gender dysphoria, which means that there's a clinically significant distress associated with that identity so, crisis. So is it, yeah. is it, excuse me, is it better to let it out and play out? Like, don't hold this in, I'd rather wear a dress than than pants, and should it be presented to this kindergarten class like this? Absolutely, and that is a very tricky question for parents because each parent is going to have different ideas and perhaps values that will change the way that they decide to support or not support this exploration in their children. And so if the parent is willing, it's good to have them have the discussion at least, stay open-minded, just talk about it and not be afraid of it. Now, being educated in the public forum, though, is a bigger question because that means you're exposing everybody else to what you decide to do with your child. And I think that that was one of the issues right. that we're seeing now. And, and I do want to say that gender dysphoria, which is this idea of having distress associated with the fact that your gender identity is different from your biological sex, is pretty low in prevalence. The best estimates we have put it somewhere between 0.3% and 0.5%. So it's not that common. So does it make sense that we would expose the entire school to it and well, make a policy? Let me just add too, right. from a legal standpoint, where this happened, the state doesn't require parental uh, consent before having discussions about gender identity in the same way uh, schools are required to have consent when they talk about sex education. So it's important to know in the state that you live in, what are the rules, what are the laws that govern, what kinds of conversations can happen in the classroom because you may live in a state where it's perfectly fine for teachers to have this discussion about gender identity without getting your consent. And I think as parents, and I'm a parent, I would want to know that. I would yes. want to know if my time. child is later. going to have I, that discussion. I think, when teachers are strangers, yeah, I, I want to have yeah. that with them first as a parent. And this is sort of a way that it can be presented. There are these children's books that are designed to educate about this idea of gender nonconformity. This book here called I Am Jazz features a little boy who wants to be a girl and feels like a girl and what her experience was talking about that with peers and family. So what, at what age do you think we should be doing this? I think that we need to be keeping an eye on things early on. Wearing your mom's shoes is not a big deal. Putting on makeup as a boy is not a big deal in terms of play. But when you start to see that as they become more verbal at the age of three and four, they're saying, I don't feel right. I feel like I wanna be a girl. If they're communicating that to you as a parent, no matter what your value system is, at least hear them out and have that discussion around that age, which would be right before kindergarten. So that is not too early to start. I do agree. We do need to yeah. educate yeah. children, but we just need to get parental consent because like you, like everyone has said, it is, you know, up to the parents when you want to That's expose right. your and children be, to this type of education. They'll be afraid to get professional guidance. Yes. yes. And let's set the record straight. You cannot catch gender dysphoria. And so this is one of those things that these children, it sounds like they never really Important understood point. it to begin with. And so we want to make sure that people understand what the baseline is. And again, it starts with the parent advocating receptive teachers yeah. and getting some professional guidance when needed. And teaching them that not only do transgender people exist, but they are not only okay, but they deserve all the love and respect that yeah. everyone else. Everyone else. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah.